Now, you've probably heard this a million times where whole grains are better than refined grains and whole grains are healthy grains, right? Well, most whole grains have gluten in them. Now, gluten is a protein in certain grains, especially wheat. Now, when you think of gluten, you may think of a condition called celiac, which is an autoimmune condition where your body is developing antibodies against your own small intestine. And so you have this constant inflammatory condition in your small intestine, and the little cilia that help you absorb in the small intestine are damaged. Now, people associate gluten with digestive problems. Now, there's another condition related to gluten that's destroying your brain uh, way more than your digestive system. It's called gluten ataxia. Ataxia is a lack of voluntary coordination of muscle movement. So your gait is off, you don't have good balance, you're having a problem with speech, your eyes, your posture, because there's damage to a part of the brain, the back part called the cerebellum, that controls this. So gluten ataxia is an autoimmune disease triggered by gluten destroying the cerebellum. And only 10% of the time do you have gastrointestinal symptoms. Now when they investigate further and do certain deeper tests, they do find 40% of these cases have GI damage, but only 10% of them have the symptoms. Which is interesting because you would think that if it affected your brain, it would affect your gut. But in this case, it's affecting your brain obviously more than the digestive system. And out of all the categories of ataxia with an unknown cause, 40% of them are this right here. Now, a big problem is that once you get the damage, it's very difficult to reverse damage to your cerebellum. And you just don't end up one day with ataxia. It starts slowly and it progresses. So you may notice that your focus isn't quite right. You're developing attention and concentration problems. You get brain fog. You start getting anxiety, depression. You have a cognitive decline where you're not remembering things anymore. These could be the early signs of a problem with the cerebellum. Now, if you've been following my channel, you're not consuming grains, so you're completely safe. But for those of you that are new, you might wanna consider not consuming grains for this reason. And the other big point I wanna bring up uh, regarding gluten-free is that when you take gluten out of the grains, you still have grains. And those grains turn the sugar very, very fast. They're gonna spike your insulin. They're gonna create a lot of other problems with elevated blood sugar, belly fat, and the list goes on and on and on. And lastly, if you're new to my channel and you wanna know what to eat, I put a link down below. Check it out. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.